there. Thanks for coming back. Just getting a little bit of uh, reading, and I've been wanting to read this book for a while, Chasing the Train. The Music and Mystique of John Coltrane. It's going to be a great read. Uh, today I wanted to talk about a concept that you don't hear a lot about, especially in blues. And I think if you go and listen to some of the recordings of Paul Butterfield, you might hear this. Um, it's called, I call it the flat nine, natural nine concept. And I think you probably would even hear this in Little Walters playing also when he goes to the five chord because it will fit beautifully over the five chord. If you go to one of my recordings called Working in Another Man's House, it's on Diggs Blues, you'll definitely hear me use this concept in a riff. And the riff kind of goes like this. Right? And one of the things I'm using is actually hole six. Now, whole six really has a tendency to sing on just about any harmonica that you play. And why do I call it the nine flat nine concept? Well, the uh, chord on the on the diatonic harmonica, the draw chord, is really a dominant ninth chord. Um, you don't hear it a lot, I don't think, in traditional blues, but in more advanced, more modern stuff, you'll hear that because that six really sings. And then, of course, you get a great bend down to the half step, which is the flat nine. But if you look at it another way, it's also based off of the D blue scale. Um, in my opinion, actually, I think even a beginner can actually get the blue scale easier in the third position. On a C harmonica would be D. Now it gets a little more difficult when you get down into the lower end, you know. But you could use this, probably use this riff on either third position or second position. When you listen to the song Diggs Blues, I'm actually using it in second position. Um, and it works really well because the nine flat nine works great over any over a dominant chord really well. And so what I'm doing is I'm playing whole six draw, and I usually start with the bend and then go up. And then I blow on six. Then I play down into whole five draw and then four draw. So that's really a D blue scale. So my suggestion is to start experimenting with this when you hit the five chord in second position. Um, in the end, it's whatever you play is whatever you play. It's your choice. I'm sure there are a lot of people out there that are just wanting to say, oh, no, 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 you can't do that, you can't do that. That's not really it. You know, they do that a lot with the major pentatonic scale where they say, no, 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 you can't use that major pentatonic scale. That's not blues. Well, I've heard Junior Wells to use that straight up. So what I would, you know, because these guys came from the country, so they probably brought that with them. But back to this scale. practice that and just copy my riff right directly from the recording. Well, that's today's little hit tip and good luck. See you later. Bye. <clears throat> okay, just a little addendum to the uh, last recording on uh, the tune working on another man's sax, I'm actually using a D harmonica. Okay, 
See you later.